Hello, this is Ishmael Mozadi and welcome to my Java tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about um, J menu. And uh, yeah, what a wonderful introduction. Um, I usually I'm not well at doing introductions, so yeah, I think that was a successful one. And yeah, I developed this not long ago while listening to Justin Bieber. Yeah, <laughs> I'm joking. So um, yeah, so um, we have three components. We have the J menu bar, which is the bar, the actual bar. And the J menu, which is that when we click on it, that's the J menu. And we have the drop down. So, yeah, so let me just go to the clips. Declare these, you can pause and declare these. We're going to extend the J frame and implement action listener. So, we can, when we click on something, you know, click, um, it does something. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, let me just start for the constructor public menu bar tutorial empty parameters curly braces okay so let's start with the j-frame I'm declaring the j-frame here because um, in previous tutorials I declared it in the main method when I put all the properties but in this we have to say in the constructor so we can add the bar to the frame so f equals new j-frame and Ishmael, this just labels the the dialog box you can do you can leave it empty and just go super not actually super and just go dot set title okay and a semicolon abort <laughs> what the hell uh j menu bar menu bar you can name it anything new j menu menu bar okay so that's it. That's the menu bar. And now we want to set the. We're going to declare the J menu. J menu. Uh, menu one. <laughs> men one. <laughs> menu one equals new J menu. And call it file. All right. So file. Okay. So that's it. Now we have to add the the, the menu to the to the bar so let's go back to tutorial so we're going to add the j menu to the bar so this is the bar the black bit and there's the j menu so let me go back to eclipse and yeah so we go menu well not menu menu bar <laughs> dot add menu one magic all right so uh, what else? Okay, so yeah, now we have to set the um, the menu bar to the J frame. So we go F set J menu bar. Menu bar. <laughs> I'm saying menu too much. It's like it's ridiculous. <laughs> F set set size three hundred by I don't know hundred pixels. F set visible true. Okay, so we go here out of the constructor, public, static, void, main. Oh, I don't usually do errors in this. String, argument, square bracket, curly braces. Okay, so we go new, menu, bar, tutorial. Okay, and let me just compile and run this. What's up? Oh, yeah, we need to declare some actions. So, yeah, that's it. There it is. There's the menu bar. We can change the colors and all that. Um, we can do it very easily. Um, so, yeah, let's go by um, adding some sub sub menus. So, we go here, private, private, J menu item. Um, let me call it item one equals new j menu item i'm going to call it open and i'm going to copy and paste because i'm super lazy in real life um, developers actually copy and paste a lot so yeah <laughs> it's the indirect way of asking you or telling you to be lazy so please take my advice cancel Okay, so um, now we want to add these um, J menu items or drop down, uh, not drop down menu, um, to the to the menu. So we go here, 
we go um, menu one dot add dot <laughs> uh, item one we, co we copy and paste that and two okay so it should add it we can let me just demonstrate quickly proceed so yeah there it is open cancel now we want to act, add some actions we'll you know j file chooser and just exit okay so where do we go we go here let's go here public void action performed action event e or e or i love cheese now that's going to be long <laughs> e um open curly braces if the event get source equals item one so when we do click on item i forgot something very huge and crucial to this application i forgot to add uh, add these to the, add an action listener to these items so you go item one add action listener this whoop <laughs> this copy and paste that although it's very easy to type if without this it would not work because it's you have to add it to action listener so you go here j file chooser f equals new <coughs> excuse me j file chooser dot this will just send it to the to the your workshop and f dot show open dialog null right so uh, another if statement for the cancel if e get source equals item 2 then let's go here system dot exit zero okay so it should work let's go here click file open hey um, i messed up j file chooser dialog box i think it happens to me when i yeah so yeah <laughs> what a rendering and um we hit cancel it closes so yeah that's it for this tutorial i hope you understood everything if you have any questions on how to uh i don't know change a color or anything about this um, j menu bar then uh, please notify me and i'll you know try and answer you so uh, thanks very much guys and see you later